All right, Council, let's go ahead and build up a new naval shipyard. We're going to need it for the upcoming war with these precursors. A new commercial shipyard was just built, so we'll expand the tonnage on it until it hits 62,000 in order to retool for our new Arc Royal terraformers. Let's hold off on building any new slipways. Speaking of Arc Royals, we will have some new ones coming out on January 21st. Let's await these new Arc Royals. Ruffer, I hope you're done with your vacation. Let's go ahead and reassign your team. At this point, let's go ahead and make sure that all our commanders, all our leaders, are where they need to be. Make sure that they don't get caught up in some accidental retirement. Alright, let's go ahead and order some new Arc Royals and get the current arc rows that were built. Let's go ahead and get them where they need to be. Remember, always move them to the planet and then make them join the designated task group. Council, let's go ahead and adjourn for the next 90 days. All right, and we're back. Looks like we have a few new things here. Looks like Spokane Commonwealth is calling it the SALTA uh, system as opposed to the Nottingham system. We have a new leader with a wealth creation bonus. That looks very interesting. All right, let's go ahead and get a report on our industry and research. Now, I do want to have this council build uh, some new research labs. Let's go ahead and cut out the last uh, military academy. Uh, the military academy is only graduating five graduates per year. Uh, we don't need an additional one, but we do need the resources allocated towards a better research base. And as far as we know, this titanium, that's getting pretty low. We're going to have to address that soon. I'm not doing any good sitting back here. Let's get that JCS Agincourt to build some jump gates to Nottingham and come on back to base. Let's go ahead and take a look at Nottingham here and it looks like we don't have enough data. I wonder how much we have left and let's go ahead and update the galaxy map while we're taking a look here. Uh, the galaxy map will tell us as a percentage how much we have and it looks like we have 55 percent. We definitely need to know more about the Nottingham system and it looks like the Spokane Commonwealth will be doing the research for us. This is Lookout 1. We have all comm systems online. All right, lookouts, let's go ahead and determine what's going on. We're going to audit everyone's orders here, be sure that we're making efficient use of our time. It looks like the Nottingham system is becoming a very rich site. While I'm noticing some key minerals here, I'm also noting the general lack of randite, which will be a problem. And now that we have enough data, this council needs to decide which planets will be the sites of our newest colonies. Otherwise it doesn't look like there's too much else other than this one planet at Nottingham A3. Uh, other thing else just seems pretty barren. A few of these look okay and this one over here it looks like another civilian colony could just plop down on it. All right, Council, let's go ahead and adjourn here for the next 90 days. I'm glad to see so many of our people doing so well as officers continue to improve their skills. All right, Council, let's go ahead and expand the new shipyard here. All right, let's take another 90-day hiatus, and we'll come back and see what's new. All right, the new shipyard, that looks great. We're going to go ahead and expand its tonnage. And then we got a new scientist, biology and geneticist. We'll go ahead and assign some labs there. The labs there are going to be important for the future training as they start to learn how to work in the real world outside of academia. Things are going very slow. Let's go ahead and reallocate all these labs. Let's give him the Lick 3 so he can move our empire forward. Let's go ahead and jump over to 90 day hiatus and see what we've got here. Looks like we have a, a standing new officer and a lot of spam from orders not being available. 
Lookout 2 is now ordered into jump point 1. We'll be on our way then. Alright, let's go ahead and rename this new outstanding officer, Neville Linton. Congrats. And let's jump over the next 90 days here. Alright, let's get a bit more tonnage on our new shipyard, number 715. And let's take another look at Newport here. Looks like a pretty good system. A little healthy, but unfortunately it's pretty far away. It's through a couple nebulas. Toy is doing really well for himself. Looks like he's got a bonus. And we got a promising new officer. Let's name him, like my newest subscriber, Richard Cal. Good job, Richard. And we go on for the next 90 days. Big turn there. Looks like Refer's getting hurt. Lookout 5 is going to have to withdraw to the Nottingham system. Hopefully, you can find something there. We got some arc rolls get built here. Let's go ahead and put in an order for a few more arc royals. And I would also like to get them over to Wall Street A1 and go ahead and start terraforming there. I know it's going to take a long time unless we have more arc royals. Spokane Commonwealth has graciously given us all data associated with the York system. Real nice of them. And on February the 13th, looks like we're going to have a new shipyard complex. Alright, let's take a look at the Nottingham system. Let's take a look at all their, all their uh, planets. We're at 100% capacity here. Let's take a look at the Geostats report. And we have a lot of non-starters here, just some okay planets but they're just missing these vital resources I mean we have a lot of geranium here but not any other uh, good resources a lot of hit and misses and more misses than we have hits and you can see this as we go ahead and scroll through all the uh, all the different resources we have neutronium corumbite yeah just not a lot of great spots here where a lot of minerals will mix together. And we can even go ahead and start combining a second mineral to see the uh, reactions, if you will, between the two. Uh, so if we take a look at geranium and you know, tritanium, this is what we have. And I think you'll see here that a lot of these are just non-starters for the sole purpose of their access. The access is what really kills it for me. Now you can see the duranium with the access of one with a ton of on it, but everything else associated it, we've got point ones all over, all across the board here. That really kills the viability of colonizing Nottingham. Now that's not going to stop me from doing it. There's some great stop spots here, don't get me wrong. And I think you'll find from the geologist report that this is not what the council really expects this system to be. It's a rich system, but there's just not a lot of access to minerals. All right, let's go ahead and get this show on the road here. Go ahead and move forward a good 90 days here and see what we've got. we got some uh, great new officers. That's great. All right, pretty boring turn. Let's go ahead and get some new orders out for Lookout 4. Get them into an, a new system. Alright, let's go ahead and figure out this research lab. Who to allocate it to. I think we'll go ahead and give it to Lick 3. We're also going to go ahead and get some new tonnage on our shipyard. I don't see anything else here. So let's go ahead and rename our exceptional new officer, one of our my newest subscribers. Go ahead and give him the name. Let's go with Shame Bitten 19. All right, let's go ahead and audit the lookouts, figure out uh, where we want to send them, if there's any new places to find, and that's done. So now we'll take a look at the next 90 days. Nothing's on the agenda, so let's go ahead and move on. All right, let's go ahead and skip ahead to the next 90 turns here. Looks like Itchy the Tribe's doing real well. We got a lot of great news coming out.
Our lookouts are just doing absolutely wonderful. They're uh, finishing up. Let's go ahead and take a look at the new system Peter had. Nothing too exciting. We got a binary star system. And looks like the JCS Agincourt has a jump gate underway. It'll be done in about a year. Let's go ahead and skip through the next 90 days. Looks like we have a new biogenesis. That sounds great. And then let's go ahead and take a look at Brighton. I see Brighton has a really far away star system. So we're going to go ahead and delete that star. Just as a matter of course. And delete we also have some ground units. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and start building some. It was foolish of me not to so far. Especially considering how few that we have and how few ground units uh, that we can go ahead and build at once. We've only got one ground unit training facility. Let's go ahead and remedy that now. And with twice the speed, Bella, the new biologist, will be able to help us out on our terraforming rates. Uh, she's at 20%, the previous guy was at 10. Bella, welcome to the team. All right, let's go ahead and get a report from research. You know, it looks like things are going really slow. Let's go ahead and reevaluate Lick 3's current assignment and cancel that. And let's see what we've got here. I just want to rearrange these things so it's a little bit more of a meaningful order. All right, let's go ahead and skip ahead the next 90 days. I see that the Spokane Commonwealth has granted us research data. As much as we like that, we cannot share our state secrets with a, another alien race. We, as a council, have decided this. This will be a firm rule. We need an edge, a monopoly, if you will, on our intellectual property. All right, I would like to reevaluate my uh, this council shipyards, and let's go ahead and add a slipway and maybe some tonnage here. Ten thousand seems like a lot because it's done in '83. Uh, let's go with some more meaningful small steps. Seeing that this shipyard is almost done, well, let's go ahead and just wait this out for the five day here. And then let's go ahead and give it some more tonnage now. All right, perfect. That is all finished up here. And let's go ahead and check our reports for the next 90 days. And seeing as nothing's really on the agenda, let's go ahead and move on. You know what? Let's stop it right here. Now, let's take a look at our tribal. The tribal has a range of only about 30 billion kilometers. And we're moving pretty slow. It's time to reevaluate our current plan here. And in fact, as you can see, if we go all the way out and then made the round trip, it's a total of 40 billion. This range isn't going to work, so we're going to have to make a new travel. All right, so let's go ahead and go into the class design. We're going to copy the design and we'll get rid of the two engines that we have here. We're going to have to add some more engines, but we're also going to need to add some more fuel storage so we can make that range. Oh, and don't forget to rename. Now we aren't able right now with our shipyards to be able to take on a ship of this size. Everyone's busy, so we're going to have to hold off on that. Now because of the interesting bottleneck that we had earlier, specifically the range, the fuel efficiency, as well as the speed, let's go ahead and reevaluate the research projects. And that bottleneck's gonna hurt us here. So Itchy the Stribe, we're gonna have to reevaluate and we'll assign you ion drives. Ion drives are gonna help us go a little bit faster and let's queue up a few more projects here. But jump engine efficiency is just not what we need right now. Uh, this council really needs to have more speed for not our military, but our commercial ships as well, especially when we have a star system so spread out. From Nottingham, all the way to NYSE, it's about 20 billion kilometers. We need to close that distance, and the way we do that is through speed. Now, I'd love to give, I'd love this council to be able to fund more research labs and be able to 
give Itchy the Shrive the research labs that he needs to do his job, but unfortunately we're going so slow. Uh, so I think what we'll do here is uh, just wait on it. We've got a lot of other projects going on, and we'll just relax for now and get back to this problem a little bit later on. Now, right now, let's go ahead and look through our lookouts, make sure things are going well there. We'll audit the orders, make sure everything's done. I see that we have a jump point unexplored right now. Let's do that. And we'll go ahead and get the reports, the agenda for next time. Everything looks good. So onward we go. Okay, these 90 day turns, this turn looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and break it off here. Well, let's take a look at what happened last time. Luckily, we didn't lose anybody. That's good. And let's go ahead and look at Blackpool. Looks like a fair system. And looks like we found some ruins. The council will be pleased to hear this, especially with the anomaly on there in the Londonderry system. Uh, excuse me, the Douglas system. Let's definitely add a colony. And we'll get a Xenologist team there as soon as we possibly can. This new team shall be led by Neville Linton, being careful not to select commanders for this team who have been assigned to another project, like Toya Akira. We also have a new officer here. This promising new officer will be renamed to Barrick, one of my newest subscribers. Alright, now that we have no more reports on anything else going on, let's go ahead and skip along for the next 90 days here. Escort lead, we're tracking multiple hostiles ahead, vectoring straight in on us. We are under attack, requesting assistance. They're everywhere! We're in! This is the council. Lookout 5, do you copy? Lookout 5 is confirmed KIA. We have two new hostile ships, the Salta and the Commodoro, from the Precursors. This is exactly one jump away in Blackpool from Nottingham, our newest colony location. Let's take a look at our galactic maps here. You can see that they're right next to Blackpool and the red numbers show that it's a hostile system. This is an immediate threat to our direct interest to wealth from Nottingham. And this cannot be tolerated. We'll have to send some people in. That does it. We're building a military next time on Paladin's Let's Play. This is Paladin. Thanks.